Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you are. And welcome back to the beta plans. We are playing as Kaizo Ruprecht, and Adamar has become shrewd. I've never seen this thing before. This character has developed a sharp and astute mind. That could be really, really good. I don't know if this develops into quick. If this develops into genius, I do not know, because quick is plus three to everything. He currently is shrewd, plus two to everything, which is just as powerful as ambitious, but interesting to see at least by the way when was this implemented because i certainly know that in the beginning this was not true yes the cities they were there and they grew as the, the uh, province grew more powerful but they've added the pyramids all right so we are exactly back where we left off uh, on the brink of a victory as we just moved some men out making sure we didn't suffer attrition and what have you not Smacking some people in their faces and keeping Jerusalem safe as far as we can. 16,000 men are coming here though, and here is Aragon. Do we want him to join? He has married a sickly girl with that is weak. An Italian girl of a... Of a no, of a public line? No, of a... Who once held... Oh, and something that Pisa lost, alright. So, um, do we want Aragon in this war? Because they will definitely be able to aid over here and fight them. I, I'm gonna accept that. Even if it will lower my score a little bit, I don't think I care enough. Uh, so, you guys, 2nd of June, 7th of June, I won't be able to hold to attack you, but I think I'm going to go for to towards Tolemkin. Can that hold 21,000? No, it can not. Can this hold it? Yes, it can. Then we will stop over here. I don't want to suffer attrition. It is my main enemy. All right, let's see here. Let's get back into it. We also, of course, have tons and tons of money, but... Huh? Join the existing pact. All right. We, uh... Um... The rework of the system has not been given us complete freedom, and that is as it should be. And now, I think we might have a very funny sandwich. 16, 17, and yes, you will not get old in time. That is awesome to see as we move these people back into here, where they can have full power 32,000 men against 16,000 it won't be an incredible war attribution but it will be significant enough and i'm going to land actually an info with these people in order to well be able to attack over here quickly or at least cut them off as these 29,000 people can then move around because 28 and what are you 21 yeah we need to split off a little bit here like this or so and then add it to this army and then these two armies can at least take control of the south of our mm, the jerusalem kingdom uh, a jerusalem kingdom that still has lands that are not ours that they hold in the de jure kingdom that is still of course something that is a painful sign to see as well as of course the byzantium hold spots and there's france France has walked all the way around, also with these troops, and they are now arriving. That is uh, nice to see you're a little late to the party, but not too late. Definitely not. You're just fashionably late, I would say. Um, no, actually go this way around. You move up, and you move there. And that also means that you should not move here, by the way. 4th of August. Is that okay? That should be okay with the attrition ticks. Yeah, they should have, have plenty of food. Alrighty then. We have a few significant sized armies in Jerusalem. We are now sieging also these areas, which, once again, it has nothing, there's no advantage to this regarding the wall square. As you see, I just uh, siege it down. Doesn't didn't add. Why does it not add? Because this man is not directly involved in the war. 
Uh, oh. We need to pick those guys up. We need to pick those guys up. We called them. They want to do their duty. And then we should allow them to do their duty. And they are also holding up a French army. And really, our army over there is like extremely small. It doesn't really aid anything. Um. Alright. Continue with the battles. Because this is about as much as we can muster. So this is it. And not much more. Um, uh, it has not escaped me that some of your co command like formal training military tactics. I would like to offer my service by training depot any sequence in the use of... I owe them a favor and they all gain flat terrain expert. Um, I'm going to go on this very, very rare occasion look over your planes, mountains. I would, oh, I would, is he a council member? The Duke of what? Well, you know, currently, oh, Prince of Bavaria wasn't uh, in the council. Don't know why. Ooh! Also, he we owe he owes me favor, so I really don't know why he wasn't in the council. But ooh, we have somebody that likes me, and then we have free favor, so we can do very much. Um, actually, I will accept this. I have no idea because the Duke of Savoie has a claim on Galilei, but that's within the realm, so I can't do anything about it. And a weak claim on Moravia, which is also within our realm, so. He can't really use his favor to instigate war. He's not on a council, so he can't target a v uh, start a vote calling for a, uh, a law. So, all right, let's attack them. That stops them. We now have about 42,000 men in the south. He has 15,000 over there. That is, of course, significant, but not as large as our armies. And we are starting to accrue wall score for holding Jerusalem itself proper. And they are... Oh! Alrighty then, alrighty then. They are all interested in fighting this army. I can understand that, but that means that we need to have an escape plan ready. Died of pneumonia. And the young... Castile has joined in the pact against me. That is... Really unfortunate. Because I want to attack her. Later on. I do. Because she has a sister. And has a claim. And she will inherit currently... Kern. And if we attack, then Castillo and Navarra would become part of us. So that is awesome. She's currently being trained um, to become Busk, though. So I'm not sure how long this will remain Castillo and then revert back to Navarra. The, um, uh, what do you say? Um, how do you call that in EU4? The kingdom that is the, like, the kingdom for that culture. Because Navarra, uh, for Basque, that is Navarra. The main nation? No, there's, like, I, I don't know, but, um, and that's the word I was looking for. So I think that that's only the reason why it's currently Castile. But this could all become part of our empire. With one measly little war. Which could be really good. Um... I can declare a war right now, don't get me wrong, because we have all kinds of... <laughs> things going on. By the way, should, could we not... Why are you still... He doesn't like me at all. Why don't you like me? Want to control the Kingdom of Sicily? Right, that's going to stay a problem for a while longer because Pisa is not yet... Uh, 
pushed out of Sicily and thus it is not incorporating into the empire as is, for instance, Italy. Oh, and Balan is currently going into Frisia, which is kind of awkward, but right? Also because it's not attached. I thought that was a new system. I actually have seen that system work. That needs to be adjacent, but perhaps now because it's within the empire, it doesn't matter. Don't know. All right, but uh, yes, Italy is now slowly moving into us as well. And if it has been incorporated, we could create the de jure, um, uh, sorry, the titular title of Italia as an imperial title. Then we would have three imperial titles. Two imperial titles, of which one could not be taken away. Why did I say three? I don't know. Probably because I'm just greedy. I want more titles. By the way, we have 3,000 bucks. We are not losing money despite um, fighting in this war. And we... <laughs> I never called my own levies. Well, I'm glad that we're winning. That was a mistake. A mistake I did not intentionally make. I know I am very... Um, careful using my own own domestic, but that this time around that would have been good 17,000 men yeah no, that that would have been an, a, a decent addition I can still call them seventeen thousand men yeah let's do it I didn't even realize we didn't have haven't called them yet all right, go here. 17,000 means we need 180 boats at least. Uh, I guess... No. You did not do exactly what I wanted you to do. That is exactly what I wanted you to do. All right. To the Provence. And you guys are going to the Provence, right? Yeah, before I make that error. Um, all right then, and they are suffering attrition moving through our land. They are, they really want this army. This is the army they want, which is awesome. Just hack it down and get out of here. They might just want to, uh, if they go back, it's no problem. I will personally compensate the Duke. Uh, if they, uh... I still don't have any increase in stewardship. <laughs> That is unfortunate. Despite, I did get Minos touch though, so I, I should really not complain. But now it's interesting to see what they will do. Because I'm going to move this army here. And be ready to attack over there. And I see that they're still moving upwards. So I'm going to move also one. Um, hello? We need to keep an eye on this army. And we are going to... Can we call boats from somewhere still? Do we still have boats that we can call? Yes, we definitely can. Where are these boats? Boats from... Luxembourg. Alright. They just have exactly enough boats to transport these men. That's awesome. They have exactly enough, but that is also very scary if it's exactly enough. Oh, three ships over there. We will pick them up as well. And that still doesn't count for 189 that I get extra. There we go, 32 ships extra over here. That should be in a way to get this army out. Should that need to be relieved of the uh, problems? All right, let's focus, however, on this army. Once again, I apologize that I'm moving so slow with things, but it's simply because, well, I don't want to lose this war, and this war is, yeah, 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 but there are a lot of things going on. By the way, let's do the old, old trick, if it is doable. Positions. You, spy master, can you, ah, uh, you can't. I could build a spy network, though. Let's do that. Boom. All of a sudden, we have a vision over here. Now we know where their armies are traveling. As they are suffering attrition. <laughs> I am always pro-suffering attrition from the enemy. Oh no, don't stand on my face. France. Don't do that. That is bad for us. Now we are suffering attrition. I just laughed at the enemy for suffering attrition. Now you make us suffer attrition. By the way, this is also... 
you know, you there's a very weak army here. Go attack it. It's bait. <laughs> I am I am so cruel. What where are you moving to? Do you have a second war? No you don't. I have no idea why you are moving that way around. I these guys are very confused. Because they're also now moving troops towards this front. Yeah, I think, I think that, well, we will end this episode the way it is, but I might just come back a little later when, uh, well, new battles will happen, because currently it seems that the computer doesn't really know, or better to say, the, uh, Shia and Sunni, of course, the computer doesn't do anything, but they're not, not the Muslims that are fighting me. They have, they have so many, um, positions that have been attacked, and, uh, have so many positions they can attack that they, well, they, they do not have, apparently, a coherent attack plan. 18,000 men extra. I said 70,000. Oh, it, yeah, it is 70,000. They were just a little bit, uh, tricksy by the, uh, Frenchies. The Frenchies added a little bit to it. Alright, then. Uh, no, you know what? Your support troops over here, should it be needed. This will be costly, but I will gladly take it. And yes, then please go through the desert, suffer more attrition. I have no idea why you're doing this, but go ahead. You, guys, surely. And how quickly can you take this? Three days, hold on. Two days, and unfortunately that lengthened up for a short moment. Bada boom, bada bing. 40%. Hmm. How long will it take? How long will it take until you can attack again? 14 days. 13th of January. Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. You who are in the pact against me will want to join me in Queen Gundrun of Castile. Yeah, accept that. Then you're out of it and if we plan this right and immediately be able to put down all the levies that we have, we could auto attack her, I think. Well, auto attack. Immediately attack her. Auto attack. What the heck am I talking about? I think my mind is gone for this episode. Might need a break. Uh, and then when I have only just started recording. Mm. Alright, but well, let's do the smart plan. We can do this. Yeah, we lost a few men, but voila. That is those three occupations. Give us 20% extra wool school. 20%. That's significant. Put them on the boat, then they are safe. Should an army decide to attack here, but we can always immediately disembark should we want to. We have a fleet here to escape immediately these troops. Oh, because there are a lot of troops coming this way, and it will all be for naught because even if they start besieging this or that or this, it won't matter. Because it doesn't even give us war score anyways. So that's awesome. Ah, <sighs> Yes, I think it's going quite well. And uh, I am going to come back when... Well, either this war is already concluded. Well, I assume not. Or when... Uh, well... We uh, have another few big battles. And by the way, yes, they are still trying to subjugate the uh, Selsuk. The Selsuk are... Tough. They, they, they keep fighting on against the Mongol Empire, but, uh, well, they are slowly losing it. And, uh, yes, they still have 86,000 men, so... Ouch. Well, I, uh, see. Thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.